This does bring up an interesting conversation, which more and more I really feel like people are leaning to the uh, to the latter of this, and that is the cinematic phase versus the pursuit of art direction in video games. It has been parroted by not just, you know, other people who play video games, but people like Maximilian Dude, people like Young Yeah, a lot of different people in the video game community who have ultimately said that, yeah, graphics have kind of reached their peak for a long while now. And essentially, like, we're well past the point where photorealism is a reason to buy a console or sell a game. Now, people aren't paying 60 to 70 bucks any more as much for the next Final Fantasy. Now people aren't paying as much for the next God of War, or the 500th re remaster of The Last of Us, so on and so forth. Whatever shit Sony PlayStation is coming out with. Now people are going for games like Guilty Gear Strive, games like Hi-Fi Rush, games like Amori, like games like hell, games like this, where the art direction is definitely more prominent, and while graphically, they're not really pushing the benchmarks on machines or anything, people will still love and enjoy these games regardless. I like cinematic games sometimes, but when that's all the industry wants to do, they all feel the same. Yes. It Exactly. Yeah, it's because here's the thing about uh, like criticism aside, I think The Last of Us, when it came out, was a genuinely fun game for a playthrough. Like it was fun with the kind of resource management, exploring the different worlds, seeing these beautiful post-apocalyptic sites. It had its vision, and I think it really nailed it. It's just now we are going more and more towards the uh, towards the time where essentially I think video game executives want to push for more photorealism means everything. This is why we're seeing a massive inflation, not just I mean, there is price. Yeah, but a massive inflation in storage because now you have games that are in just about almost any genre where they will be fucking pushing a hundred gigs and they're not even worth it. Like fucking Tekken 8 is almost like 80 gigs. And oh, that was the thing about Uncharted series also especially too. Back then it was this amazing new thing and because it sold so well, they thought this was the only way to make money. Yeah. But it wasn't. It, it wasn't. I feel definitely, you know, from an outsider point of view, God of War uh, 2018 was definitely a prime uh, example of sort of eating your cake and having it too, where you can have beautiful photorealistic visuals, but have some really damn good gameplay. You see, the interesting thing about that is that the Norse God of War games should have been three titles because by the end of Ragnarok, it feels like everything is just being rushed to finish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and uh, to go on, and it's the way people, the way you think about it, and the more, the more, the better the gameplay, the more people will be drawn to it, despite art style and graphics. Yeah. Hades is another prime example of that. Absolutely. It, it's very much a prime example of that because the game top down, I will 100% say, is more reminiscent to a game like Diablo as opposed to, say, a, like, I guess a game like Elden Ring or Baldur's Gate in, in a lot of ways, where it very much is going for minimalism with the graphic fidelity, but the animations, the music, the the essentially like coded in adapting the music, the combat, the different enemies you come across, the different weapons you acquire, the different skills, abilities, and whatnot, so on and so forth. Like the pros and cons and whatnot of the roguelike system and everything, I feel has made it a hallmark in genuinely really good indie games with beautiful art direction. And then there's games where 
essentially it's it's more so goes down a similar vibe of what uh games such as what naughty dog is releasing now where they want to be cinematic but the games look more fictional look cartoonish look fake and that is games produced by stuff like that game company stuff like journey stuff like flowers stuff like sky children of the light those games all have this very uh I will even say, I'll, I'll say very, like, cartoonish-esque type visuals to them. And yet they're some of the most beautiful games anybody can play.